one of the things we're most proud of in Kelezi UK is the work that my colleague and I have done within the NHS on diabetic ulcers. Um, it has taken us a long time to understand how to improve and the healing process um, of these really calcitrant ulcers. Um, but we have perfected some treatments within the NHS that allow us to get an accelerated healing of good quality tissue where there was a long-standing diabetic ulcer. The machine is calibrated to allow you to go and do treatments. So there are specific treatments that are able to treat not just the wound itself, but we've learned that you needed to go and treat the whole of the lower leg. And until we treated the whole lower leg, we were not approaching the dynamics that's preventing that healing properly. So when we treat someone with a diabetic foot ulcer, we usually use the standard head, but we initially start on the upper leg beneath the knee itself, and we work on areas where we are able to go and concentrate the beam to improve perfusion to the lower leg. So we are working constantly at areas to enhance perfusion and to enhance blood flow to the lower leg. And in doing this, we're able to go and uh, increase the oxygenation, increase the ability of uh, the uh, electrolytes and metabolites and improve the overall environment. The first six minutes of this treatment are purely working on the lower leg and then the final treatments which is usually only a couple of minutes is actually over the wound itself just treating the wound itself would not have the desired effect we need to make sure that we are treating all of the lower leg getting as much perfusion as much collateral um, vessels and vascularization to enhance the perfusion of the lower foot before we work on the actual wound itself. When we do this, we have a very good success rate, and we've seen about an 80% success rate in really non-healing diabetic ulcers within the NHS.